Hey, this is quite a makeover project in the backyard over here in this canal. Had an old rotten wooden seawall that was failing, and deck wasn't in the best shape, and there was a lot of trash behind the wall, as you can see. We did remove most of the debris. We came back in with a brand new uh, vinyl seawall, new decking, new wood retainer wall, and really transformed this wall over. Now we're working on getting the uh, boathouse started, got the pole set, we're getting up for the framing. We're getting all of our scaffolding set up now so we can work on top of the boathouse. Once we do that, we pull the square on it, see what we need to do as far as getting the poles cut and squared up so we can get the tuba 12s mounted to the pilings. These are our rafters here that we've got pre-cut. These are actually the commons here. And that little bird, this little area right here is called bird's mouth. This is the level spot that will sit on top of the top beams. And this is a notch out here, which will sit on the outside of the beam. And it'll go up to the top uh, ridge. You know, it's already got an angle cut on there. Right there. protected area back here in this little cove. Park your boats right here. We won't have to worry about all the, the wind and wave action that's going on out there in the uh, intercoastal waterway right now. Hey guys got the poles cut off and the poles notched, the bands put up. Now we've got the 5 8 hot tip galvanized bolts going in and tightening them up. And looks like you already got the roof laid out. You can see the layout marks right there for the uh, rafters. We got hip style roof on it, here we'll be installing next. Get ready to start cutting these off. We don't like leaving the long edges of the bolts sticking out, it just looks tacky and unfinished, so we cut them all off flush with the nuts. Right now, they're setting a couple commons up at the very end of the ridge run, and then I got a common coming off the end of the hip. Those are all exactly the same size. Well, the common off the hip is about three quarters of an inch longer. And then we'll run the ridge right down the middle to the other side. Got all the skeleton put up of the ridge, and it's just a matter of filling in all the commons and the jacks tomorrow. We got Kaylin over here today. <laughs> now we'll get some work done. We got Kaylin here. I see that. Y'all got good progress. It certainly feels like we've done a good thing. Well, it's probably because you got a nice cool breeze up here today. It looks like we've done a lot more than It's all about how it It's all about presentation. <laughs> We like to install half inch hot tip galvanized bolts in our ceiling ties there. This gives a little bit more structural integrity.
How many men does it take to screw up a four-foot rafter? <laughs> that one's way off too. The bird's mouth is wrong. There's something definitely wrong with that one. There you go. You got it now. Maybe just went on the right mark. It's time to clean that pouch out. Yeah. By the way, if, if any of these don't look real square, put that square on it just to see. Like this one was, the X was on the wrong side. <laughs> no comment.
Hey y'all, thanks for checking out my video. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe now, hit the like and share button. If you got any comments or questions on how we do this, please feel free to leave me a message and I'll try to get back with you. Got a lot more projects coming up, so y'all keep on watching.